Hey, what's up guys? It's me again. Graham from Graham Dress Shop. Today, we're going to talk about Melbourne suburb start with N. Without further ado, let's go! The name Nari Warren is of Aboriginal origin which most likely interpreted as small hills. The area of today Nari Warren North was originally known as Nari Warren, while the area of today Nari Warren was originally known as New Nari Warren. The name changes occur when the New Nari Warren claimed the name of Nari Warren. Meanwhile, the original township that served here in the 1870s is located in Nari Warren North. The current town centre of Nari Warren was the new settlement of New Nari Warren. The new settlement was settled when the railway line and railway station was constructed in 1877 and 1883 respectively. Additional knowledge Nari Warren is the home of second largest super regional shopping centre in Australia by Gross Lisable Ariel, the Westfield Fountain Gate. With the land size of 177,291 meters square, it was opened in November 1970. Reconstructed and reopened on 11 of March 1980. It was named Fountain Gate after a subdivision of the area during the early European settlement era. Interestingly, it is also the location of the first ever Krispy Kreme in Victoria. European settlement began in Newport around 1862. The settlement was originally known as Green Ridge. Before the settlement, the area was originally developed as the terminus of Melbourne Geelong Railway Line which opened in the 1857. The area also closely associated with quarry activities of Bluestone in the 1880s. The name Newport commemorated the establishment of the Newport on Saltwater River which is today Maribonong River. Scottish Thomas Napier was one of the earliest European settlers in the area between 1843 and 1851. In 1869, another Scottish, Henry Stevenson, brought 249 acres of land from Thomas Napier and built a house on Nip. He named the house Nidria after his birthplace, Nidria in Scotland. And then it was believed the suburb name was named after the house of Henry Stevenson, Nidria. Alan Barclay, who is chiefly recognized as the founder of Noble Park, began in 1909 as a subdivision by Alan Barclay. He named the subdivision Nobel Park. He named it after a Swedish inventor, Alfred Nobel, as Alan Barclay had used the estate to demonstrate Nobel's explosives. Soon, he changed the subdivision name from Nobel Park to Noble Park. He named it after his son, Noble Buckley. Additional knowledge. A name that is almost forgotten nowadays by the resident of Noble Park, Matt Max, aka Max Clark. His real name is Pavel Marinov, the Bulgarian man who earned his nickname by four policemen in Noble Park. During a routine search of his car by Victorian police in June 1985, Police uncovered tools of burglary traits in his car and he went on the run. Few months later, he was fatally shot while hiding in Valen. Hiya, that's good scary! Formerly known as Hawthorne, the one of the first town in Victoria to be granted municipal status. It separated from the city of Melbourne in 1859 and initially known as Hawthorne. It was named after Sir Charles Hawthorne, 
the governor of Victoria between 1854 and 1855. Anyway, the name changed to North Melbourne in the 1887. It was named by Thomas Wilkinson due to his association with Notting Hills in London. He was a carrier between Oakley and Fentrigari in the 1870s. Besides, he also owned a refreshment shop in the area. A township known as Tunstall was surveyor in the area in the 1870s as a producer of bricks and clays. It was named after the famed pottery producing English town. However, for the name Lunavadi was first used as the local parish name in 1854. It was derived from a local Aboriginal word, Nufawadi, which variously means meeting place, battlefield, or ceremony ground. And then in 1872, the Shire of Nunawadi was created. Later in the year 1888, Lee Kamki created oyster stores. Ah, not related, not related. Later in the year of 1888, a new railway station was built and named it as Toonstall Railway Station. The railway station was renamed from Toonstall Railway Station to Nunawadi Railway Station, as well as the name of the town from Toonstall to Nunawadi. Alright, that's it for all the suburb name stuff with N. Are they interesting? Very good, very good, very good. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. I will see you on my next topic.